Hey everybody, and welcome to another PSPP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about a two by two factorial design. So in this particular module, and what we're gonna do with this one is a factorial between subjects design. So there are no within subject variables or repeated measure variables in this ANOVA. So it it's uh, four independent groups is what we're gonna be doing in this particular one. This data set is from the JASP data library. It is called the Erotic Pictures and Love, and it is from Balzarini, Bobson, Chin, and Campbell. Does exposure to erotic erotica reduce attraction and love for romantic partners in men independent replications of kenrick gutierrez and goldberg actual data actual journal journal article and it was i think um shortened to fit in this module um as well as as well as possible so that's what we're going to do thank you to those folks for this data set so here i have the data already set up in the data view and uh, in variable view. So I've already set nominal for gender as my measure type. And then I've done the same thing for condition variable, which um, I will explain in just a second, but nominal. So gender here is male and female, it's dichotomous. And condition is um, the experimental condition that they were in. So these are gonna be our two factors for this two by two. And uh, nudes is one of them. Nude pictures uh, is what they saw or abstract art. So abstract art pictures. And so let's take a look at what our variable view here is. And so we here we have nudes uh, and abstract art. So we'll see if we can we'll see if it can read nudes versus abstract art in the uh, in this one. So we are going to go into univariate analysis. Yeah, it says a gender and condition are. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if it likes it. And then we are going to do average pleasantness as our dependent variable. See, those are our fixed factors. So uh, analyze univariate analysis. Average pleasantness is my DV, and then gender and condition are my fixed factors. And we'll see whether or not PSBP can handle the fact that these are those two are considered uh, text strings. So let's uh, and you can see that there are no options for this. You get what you get and you don't get upset for this. So let's hit OK. So here's our output and it tells us that this is very important too. it tells us that um, GLM condition is not a numeric variable. It will not be included in the variable list. So that's a good uh, thing to note. So we do need to shift these. We need to go back to this. And we do need to turn these into numeric. And we'll see what happens with the uh data view here yeah so it gets it gets rid of all of them so this is a really good uh okay so sorry about that rough cut um i had to go ahead and change the gender and condition variables to uh, be numeric. And so we're going to do some value labeling stuff after we change these to nominal. And uh, eventually we will get the uh, ANOVA going. <laughs> so let's go into value labels and I'll tell you what I did. So the value of a zero I set as male and the value of one I set as female for gender. And I put that in there and we're going to do the same thing for condition. So the value of zero, I put as nude, nude pictures and the value of one I set as abstract art. And we'll add that and we will click OK and let's full screen this. So we got it. OK, um, let's go back to data view and you can see that those are um, the same. So let's go up to analyze. 
univariate analysis. And let's go ahead and put our actual fixed factors in here with the little uh, Venn diagram. And we will do average pleasantness for a dependent variable. And we will hit OK. And um, the tabs aren't showing here up at the top. So oh, another way to get to your output if you're in full screen for some reason is to go over here and click on uh, output. And here was the, our initial attempt, and here is our um, new attempt. Again, there are no, there are no options for this. So this is all you get. So if you want to do other things, then you'll have to do, uh, you'll have to work with the confines of doing a descriptives module or something like that. So here is the test of our between subjects effects, and that is all we get. So let's take a look at it. So you can probably ignore corrected model this first line there. Um, because what we're and and the intercept, which doesn't have any values. So underneath here, we have gender condition, gender by condition. That's our interaction term. So main effect of gender, main effect of condition, gender by condition. And then we have our error term, which applies to all three of those. And then total and corrected total. So we're going to focus on gender condition, gender by condition, and error in these lines. So we have variance for each of these. So we have our numerator uh, variance for gender. We have our numerator variance for condition. We have our numerator variance for the interaction term, gender by condition. And then we have our, our error our denominator variance. Here we have our degrees of freedom. So this is just um, number of groups minus one. Uh, so two minus one is one. Number of groups minus one for the other main effect. Uh, two minus one is one. Um, gender by condition uh, is also a one degree of freedom. Okay. And then um, our error term is uh, what? 223 to so 224 to 219 so that's the difference of five so how you work back from that is you do n minus one but then also n minus this one or sorry minus this one minus this one minus this one and then an additional one for to get your five okay here we have our mean squares, which are our sums of squares divided by our degrees of freedom. And so you get when you have a degree of freedom of one, you get the same value for all three of these. And then you get 306 divided by 219, 1.4. And then we get an F statistic for all three of these. OK, so we get an F of 10 which is definitely going to be um, less than 0 0.005 and F of 0 0.12, which is definitely not going to be uh, <laughs> below 0 0.05. And then we have an interaction of uh, an F of 22, which is definitely going to be less than 0 0.001. Again, not zero, less than 0 0.001 because PSBP and SP SPSS only show three decimal places for the p-values. So anything less than 0 0.001 gets 0 0.00, okay? So it looks like if we were to interpret this really quickly, it looks like we have a main effect of gender. We do not have a main effect of condition. Nudes and abstract art were similarly pleasurable. But we do have a gender by condition interaction which would uh, be significant here. So you would look at plots. You would want to make your um, graphs. That's going to be in another video. Uh, it's going to be in another video. If we go up to Windows here and look at our data set two, you would make graphs in a separate. And so I'm going to do that in another video. So that is how you do a between subjects factorial ANOVA in PSPP. If any comments, suggestions, or questions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. For more, thanks for watching. Bye.